Talk to us, Tito, about your last training camp trilogy with uh, Forrest Griffin. Uh, how, how has it been so far? Uh, camp's been great. I'm, uh, I'm prepared. I got two more weeks of uh, killing myself and uh, just prepared to get in the fight and give it my all. I'm all my heart, all my dedication. Everything as a warrior always does, is meant to do, and that's go out, swing for the fences, try to get this fight done. 15 years, lots of surgery, back, knee, shoulder. Uh, have they gone away mir miraculously, or is it just that you've been taking care of yourself better? Um, I think from the surgeries I've had, I've been taking care of myself better. Um, they nag a little bit here and there, but I take care of myself, and I think uh, through my career, I've shown my heart and determination and how strong my mind truly is. You have been the face of the UFC. You probably had a lot to do with what the UFC is now, Tito. Um, is there anything that has been left undone by Tito Ortiz in these 15 years? Has been anything left undone in the last 15 Something years? Something that you think that you should have done or you could have done or you would? I've done everything I've done in the UFC. That's why I'm leaving. That's why it's time for me to go. I've done everything I could underneath the sun in the UFC brand. I've helped as much as I possibly can to promote it. Um, I've been about the brand of mixed martial arts and UFC. That's what got me here. I got to be very thankful for the UFC, for Lorenzo and for Dana to give me this opportunity. No matter the beefs that me and Dana have towards each other, it's always been business, no more than that, nothing personal. I'm just trying to take care of my family and uh, make the best for the future of my family in some general, two and the future of MMA. Two split decisions, one each way, July 7th. Uh, it is really about unfinished business, about making sure that there's no doubt that Tito Ortiz beat Forrest Griffin. There's going to be no doubt. Um, this, the judges don't even need to show up. This is not going to the judges' decision. I'm going to make sure that. Unless Forrest is ready to take a beating for three rounds. I'm going to give him a beating for three rounds. I'll be in shape for it. I'll, I'll, I'll be ready and I'm excited. I want to give the fans what they want to see and the best of Tito Ortiz. You've always been about the fans, Tito, and they love you. What can you tell them about July 7, about what Tito Ortiz, Tito Ortiz is bringing, and what, what, what do you need to say to your fans? You know, all my fans, I just want to thank you for your support. If it wasn't for each and every one of you, men and women, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, I, I thrive to be a better person. I thrive to be a better fighter. I thrive to be a better father and uh, person in general. Um, you know, all the troops, men and women who fight for our country, I'm very thankful to them. Since uh, 2001, I've always came out with the American flag. Now with the Mexican flag represented together, knowing that all Latinos and Americans were all alike. And no matter what, I'm fighting for my fans. I've always been like that since day one. That's why I've been here for 15 years. See you on July 7th, man. July 7th, UFC 148. Watch it. Make sure you don't blink. Visit El Octagono for all the latest in MMA. News, fight results, interviews, live event coverage, podcast, and video capsules. All this and much more in Spanish. Find all your MMA needs here inside El Octagono, the number one source dedicated 100% to MMA in Spanish. Octagono.com